and stuff here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. Today I wanted to share with you two my two latest makes for um, July. Actually, they're my last two for the month. Um, so the first one, and they're both dresses. And so the first one I wanted to share with you is Simplicity 8375. And this is one of their hacking patterns. I've never used one of their hacking patterns, but I do like it. They do give you a lot of explanations on how to do all the um, hacks. So I made this dress um, for the Sew Your View Challenge for July 2019. It's an Instagram challenge put on by That's So Monica on Instagram. And every month they choose a pattern and a lot of sewers throughout the sewing community have a chance to be featured um, on the Sew Your View uh, channel on Instagram. So anyway, I decided to sew this pattern and I made version, this version right here is the tunic version, but I lengthened mine into a dress. And it's a easy, it's so easy to lengthen. Um, I kept the, I did raise it one inch so the waistline can hit me at my waist. And, um, which I usually, that's a usual pattern adjustment for me for my height. And I also added eight inches to the ruffle piece. So what I did was I um I folded my so I wouldn't have to cut the pattern. I folded it in. It's a little wrinkled now because I put it back in the um in the envelope, but I folded it in and then I added, I taped on the bottom of the eight inches because it comes with this cool pattern paper. Um and each square is an inch. So it's really easy to hack it by um just adding to the uh bottom edge how many inches you wanted to uh, go. So I decided to add eight inches to the bottom in order to like, make it dress length for me. So I also sewed the version with the scoop back. And I love this scoop back. It is just so, so hot, fire right now. It's good for the summer because it helps um, keep, keep, you know, the heat off. It gives a little extra air. I also did the sleeveless version because it's been in the 90s and up yesterday was 100 degrees. So it's been super hot here in Maryland. And so I really love this dress. And the fabric I purchased at Cali Fabrics about a year ago. And it's this really pretty, um, I don't know if you can really see it. Yeah, here you go. It has this sunburst kind of pattern on it. It's a coral fabric and then with really, really light orange sunburst designs. You can only really see it well in person. It doesn't really transfer well on camera and in pictures, but I really like it. Um, the only problem I had was with the neckband. It was a little short. I probably should have cut a length, cut a, another neckband and made it a little bit longer. So it puckers a tiny bit here. But I think um, you really can't tell if I do like this. It kind of flattens out. So, I really like this pattern. It's a really simple, quick, and easy make. I do, I would like to make more of these. Um, I do like the loose fit of it. It's nice and flowy, and it's perfect for a cotton knit um, in the summer. So, I probably wouldn't do it in a polyester knit in the summer because it's just, it's just too hot. Anyway, that is my first review, again, for Simplicity 8375. And I do recommend this pattern. Okay, so the next pattern I wanted to share with you is McCall 6558. And this is an older pattern. It's out of print, but I have seen it on Etsy and Amazon. And I'll leave a link below where you can get it if you want to pick up this pattern. And um, I was undecided on whether I would sew this pattern or... Um, a Berta style pattern in the, in the most recent Berta style magazine for the July issue. And I'll leave a picture of that right here. But I put up, I put up a vote on Instagram and you all voted. And this was the pattern that uh, won out. It was a nine to eight uh, uh, vote. And this pattern won out by just a hair. So I made this version B because I do like off shoulder tops. And the, I decided to sew this now. I bought this fabric in, I think, the end of May or early June. 
And I bought this so I could sew it up for Pride Month because it's rainbow fabric. And those are the colors for um, Pride. So, but I didn't get a chance to sew it up. But recently I lost a, fr good fr a friend of mine that I grew up in childhood and she passed away from cancer. And she was had a beautiful voice and she always sang a song called Rainbow in My Window. And the song just kept going in my mind, going in my mind. I said, I need to sew up this fabric right now. So I decided to use up the rainbow fabric. And so this was a pretty straightforward make, except because I decided to do the stripes in different directions, um, that's, it took me a little bit longer in the cutting phase. So what I did was I cut the flounce straight and um, I cut the bodice part lengthwise as well as the skirt part lengthwise and then the ruffle I, I, I cut horizontal as well. So the hardest part of this pattern was cutting out. So what I did to match up the stripes was each, there were two flounce pieces and I just lined up the, each flounce on the same color for the front and back flounce as well as for the skirt flounce and then for the bodice and uh, skirt pieces I made a center point. I decided to uh, make the orange, this orange section um, as my center point and I just laid the front pieces on the back pieces so that they can all line up and that's how I ended up getting this chevron, the chevron kind of look on the sides. So I love how um, the chevrons line, it came up, well, yeah, it comes up to a point, a little triangular kind of chevron point on both of the sides because I lined up all of the stripes together right on top of each other and I love how it turned out. So I have little some pictures showing how I made sure all the stripes lined up. I used a pin at each edge of the uh, of the sides so that it could line all the way up. And um, so I made, that's what I did for all the side for the flounce as well as the ruffle. So the only issue that I had with this pattern was the bottom flounce because, let me show you. I mean ruffle. So the bottom ruffle was super, super long and I didn't have enough fabric. I ended up not having enough fabric. You were supposed to cut out three really wide ruffles on the fold. So you see how wide this, <laughs> this piece is? So it had to be all on the fold. So because of the stripes, I didn't have enough to make three that wide. So what I did is I, um, I folded it in half and I made uh, two and then I made a third one. I had to cut, I had to cut it in half and add um, five eighths inch seam allowance to, um, to make it one piece. But when I was putting it together, I forgot to add the two to make one piece together. So I was like half a ruffle short uh, width wise or circumference wise. But it all worked out because I didn't realize until after I had already hemmed up the bottom and surged and everything. And I was like, oh, I'm not taking it out just to add this little piece of ruffle on. So it all worked out. But I had, I had it took a little time for me to, I had to put it on the mannequin and pin it really slowly and then that still didn't work so I took it off and I laid it flat and I evened out the sides where I wanted all the pieces to go because the notches didn't match up anymore because I left out half of a, um, <laughs> half of the ruffle out of um, the ruffle at the bottom but I got and I made it work I just kept pinning and repinning until I got it to go around nice nicely so I'm really happy with how this dress turned out and I love this rainbow fabric and it's from Joanne so this is a really and it's 100% linen and I really love it and it's really cool a really cool print so we um my kids and I were downtown yesterday and so we were able to 
stopped by some beautiful murals here in the city and um, I decided to take some pictures there in light of the different drama against our city and recent politics. I'm not very political, but um, I decided I wanted to take some pictures to show off some of the beautiful murals that we have in our city. So here are some pics and twirls of both the coral dress as well as the rainbow dress. for watching and for all of your support of me and the channel. I really appreciate all of your kind words and I look forward to talking to you all next time. Take care and have a great day. Bye!